Let's see, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, but let me turn off my, my headphones. Wait. There you go, can you hear me now? Yes, you can, yes, you can. Duh, thank you so much. Good morning, there I am. I was, uh, I forgot to turn off my headphones this morning after my meditation, so my phone was connected by Bluetooth to my headphones, but we are all sorted out now. Well, let's start that again. Oh, dang. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, God, Burns, get your shit together, girl. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. I am Burns Bedard. I am your certified detox specialist. And every now and then I get my shit together and I get on the trampoline. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I always have my shit together. My headphones were on. That's why there was no sound. But good morning. We are live this morning. It's Saturday morning and we've already got eight people in the class. Yes, girl, here I are. Good morning, Rockstar Ruiz. I got your email this morning, by the way, Ruiz. And that's an awesome parasite that you <laughs> released. I'm so proud of you. So happy for you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, better. Awesome, Catalina. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's get bouncing. Without further ado, I apologize for the lack of sound at the beginning, the first minute and a half of this live. But good morning. I'm Burns. I'm your certified detox specialist. And here at The Real Juicy Detox, we talk about how to get our bodies healthy, how to naturally heal everything in the body that ails us through the power of fruits, melons, and berries, baby. Say it with me, guys. Fruits, melons, and berries. Boom! Fruits, berries, and bellies. Berries and bellies. Berries and bellies. <laughs> Did you hear that, babe? Yeah, I know. Fruits, melons, and berries. Fruits, melons, and berries. Fruits have an incredible... <laughs> an incredible ability to heal the body, to detoxify the body, to clean the body out of all toxins that we have accumulated in the body through a lifetime of eating foods that leave behind an acid residue, uh, vaccinations. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you have not checked out Del Big Tree as yet, you guys need to check him out. I know, thehighwire.com. Anyhow, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. You going to work, babe? Yeah. Awesome. So, um, so what we do here at The Real Juicy Detox, every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I put my phone on and I put my workout gear on and I come and I get on my rebounder because this is going to really help my body. Now that my kidneys are opened up and they're filtering the lymphatic waste to the outside in my urine, I know. This is a great way to get that lymphatic cellular waste out of the body. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who that? All right. Uh, so Have a good morning at work, baby. Yeah, we gotta call the gym actually. He's gotta leave. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, by getting on your rebounder, it's going to help your lymphatic system to open up so that your now filtering kidneys can get more of the lymphatic waste out of your body. And I'm so aware that we always have new class members. I'm always being private message. I love your private messages on Facebook Messenger and through the website, therealjuicydetox.com. And uh, I see you. I so love that we have new people finding what we're doing here, finding the Real Juicy Detox, feeling a connection, a resonance with me, and with the rest of you guys, the rest of the members of the class, there's Rockstar Louise. <laughs> I love you, man. And uh, Kathy says, okay, got sound. Okay, good. So we have a lot of new members and a lot of times people are like, okay, what is this juicing thing all about? 
I want to learn more information. How do I do it? What does it mean? Why do I feel like this? Will this help me heal or cure? Fill in the blank condition. And the answer to all of that is fruits, melons, and berries, baby. Fruits, melons, and berries. That's what we're doing here. We're, we're, we're loving our vegetables. Don't get me wrong. We are loving up on our vegetables, right? But we are loving up on our fruits, melons, and berries to go into high detox mode because our bodies have been severely damaged by all of the stuff that we have put in it. We don't realize it because, you know, the doctors, they want to say, ah, oh, it has nothing to do with what you're eating. We don't know what causes this. That's a good one, right? We don't know what causes it. But here, let me write you a script. Let me write you a prescription. Take this medicine. Well, if you don't know what causes it, why are you giving me a prescription to just treat a symptom that will have a whole bunch of other side effects? That's not cool. No. So... I started this journey on June 1st, 2020, after <laughs> of trying to avoid, trying to get my health back in order so that I can prepare, to truth be told, so that I can prepare for my third open abdominal surgery. There's my scar from my first two, to, um, to deal with, to treat gastrointestinal stromal tumor in 20. 11, I had 90% of my stomach removed. In 2017, I had 75% of my liver removed because of this tumor that kept coming back. And sure enough, it kept coming back and I was scheduled to have my, to have my um, uh, liver removed again this spring. And thank God for COVID because of that, because of that, I had a delay on my surgery date which gave me enough time to push pause on the whole craziness that had turned into my health. I had a moment to press pause. I was 150 pounds, 25 pounds heavier than I am now. And I realized I knew, good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Olga in the house, yes. Shout out to Olga. And hello, Oguz. Nice to have you here, my friend. Thank you so much for finding us and for commenting. I'm so glad you're here in class. Good morning, Cheryl. How's it going, babe? How you doing? <laughs> so I, I, was facing, I was facing the possibility, the very real possibility. I had my, my pre-op Skype meetings with the, with the medical team, with my surgeon. Uh, it, was, it was a go. It was a go. And I, hi Cheryl, I mean, hi Cindy. <laughs> um, but I realized I knew in March, uh, I knew in May, I knew in May when all these conversations were going down with the doctors and we were talking about death rate and we were talking about the very real and likely possibility that he would have to do microsurgery to repair my hepatic artery because the tumor is right around the hepatic artery location wise, you know, all of the possibility of punctured intestines and all of the realities started to really hit me. It really hit me hard. It hit me so hard, especially with COVID and with the, the, the realization that my family would not be able to be a part of that experience with me as they had been the previous two times. And I was freaking out. <laughs> I was trying to keep it cool trying to keep my shit together, but I was freaking the F out, like you would not believe. And I just was on my knees again, guys. You ever get to that place in your life when you are on your knees, hands turned upwards, saying, oh my God, I give up? Have you ever been to that place of surrender, right? That's where I was, and that's where you have to get to sometimes to really change things in your life you know and i put my hands up in the air and i said i i don't know what else to do god i think i i thought i had tried everything meditation intensive spiritual growth you know changing my mindset walking as my future healthy self none of it works none of it worked ah oh, 
Good morning, Lisa. Hi, babe. How you doing? How you doing, Cindy girl? So happy you found hope. Yeah. Oh yes, many times. I know. I know, Cindy. I see you, baby. I know. I've been there. It's frigging scary as hell when they're planning on operating and taking out your liver for the second time in three years, right? Like, how many times can you cut me open, Doc? How many times can I legitimately, realistically expect to survive a major surgery like that? That's no joke. And to think that I had to go through it without my family around me? Holy shit. That was the extra secret sauce on top of that one. And I set out to, I set out to be open. I didn't try to find anything. I just said, God, put, put, put it in front of me. Put the solution in front of me. Please, I'm open. I'm willing to receive. I'm willing to do whatever you tell me to do. You tell me to eat fruit, smells, and berries. I didn't know that at the time, but I will do it. You know, I will do it. I will go the distance and I will do whatever it takes. If you can show me a different way, a different solution, please, God, I can't do this. I cannot do it again. Can't do it again. And uh, the next day, I found a juicing video. Some cute little YouTuber that I was following for lifestyle stuff. She was talking about, I just lost 10 pounds on doing juicing. And I was like, hold up a minute. I need to lose at least 10 pounds. The isogenics program that I was doing, you know, the isogenics program that I was doing, I picked it up I, for, for a minute. I thought, okay, well, let me go back to isogenics. I lost weight on that before. Tried that for two weeks. No, felt like crap, felt worse. And obviously what I know now is that that stuff is so acidic to the body, all that animal protein, all that whey dairy protein. I don't care how frigging denatured it is, it's dairy. Stop doing that to yourself, Burns. So I got that message loud and clear. And then juicing fell into my lap. And then Dr. Morse fell into my lap. And then here we are, 181 days later, and I have totally transformed my health. I feel amazing. My lipoma on my back shoulder that used to be 14 centimeters in diameter right here went down almost immediately. It's not completely gone. It's still there a little bit, but damn, I've had that for over 25 years, probably longer. I just only had pictures from 25 years ago and it was pretty big and pretty stand out on my back. You could see it before. My back is still a little crooked. You could see it before just from my front view. You know what I'm saying? Right? Nothing works without a cellular, cellular detox. It seems absolutely. You cannot out meditate a bad diet. Trust me, I've tried. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You guys have seen me on the Dr. Joe Dispenza channel, right? With my testimony from two years ago of how I used meditation to turn this around. But you can use meditation to change your electrical and chemical and vibrational standpoint on something but if you keep putting in acid into your body your body responds to the chemistry that you put into it right and the chemistry that you put into it is everything everything amen surrender says karen yes girlfriend you gotta surrender no resting keep going yes first name last name thank you hallelujah right elaine Halla freaking lula you little i can't speak today Hallelujah. Exactly. I'm clapping and crying for you. I'm clapping and crying for everybody on this journey. So happy that you healed yourself. Yes, our bodies can heal. Our bodies can heal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, inner being. Thank you, me, for being open to it. We can all do this, you guys. We can all do this. I have much less inflammation in my body, no more chronic pain. I, I, I was able to say goodbye and walk away from a 40 year pain medication addiction. My life is, I have my life back. I have my life back. Yes, you can't put med you can't out meditate a bad 
diet. Exactly. And that is the missing link for a lot of people. I get a lot of people messaging me from the Dr. Joe Dispenza groups and from, you know, the work that I've done in that community as a meditation mentor. And I get it asked all the time. Oh my gosh. So-and-so has a problem. A friend of mine needs you. I need you. What can I do? What meditations can I do? I just got this diagnosis from the doctor and I say to them, God bless you. This is an opportunity. This is, this is an opportunity knocking, but as much as, and as, as important as meditation is to your journey, and it is very important. Do not underestimate that you guys. <clears throat> it is everything to the spiritual detox that you are on your road with, right? When we have to detox the physical body because of the chemistry that we've put into it, <clears throat> that chemistry that we have put into it in this physical, more dense body has affected our spirituality as well. It has clouded us from the real truth behind how to really truly work all this out on a spiritual, emotional, mental level. And it is normal, it is natural, it is to be expected that when you go on a physical detox, by flooding your body with alkalizing, hydrating, nutritious fructose that the creator actually made for our bodies to utilize as fuel to create an energy cycle within the body when combined with oxygen at every cellular level, at every cell, every cell in your body has one job to create an energy cycle. Crazy, right? We, we don't even think about that. We have trillions, maybe hundreds of trillions of cells in the body. We really don't know for sure. And one thing we do know for sure, though, is that we need two things, two main things in order to keep this body going, right? We need fuel. How do you keep your car going? How do you keep your car going? Fuel, right? You don't drive up to the diesel pump if you've got a gasoline car. Just like you don't drive up to the gasoline pump if you've got a diesel, a diesel vehicle, right? You put the right fuel in your car or else what are you going to do? You're going to blow the gaskets. You're going to damage the engine. Car's not going to work immediately. The thing with the human body is that we can put all kinds of crap in our body that is pretend food, that is foreign protein, that is complex, unusable, non-bioavailable sugars. All the bread, all the sugar, all the cookies, all the, all the crap all the rice, all the oatmeal, all the complex carbohydrates. You can do all of that for quite a while and your body is going to feel it, but, <laughs> but you're going to ignore it. You're going to ignore the signs that you're putting in the wrong fuel. What are those signs? Well, how does the body handle and take care of foreign material of acid residue? Everything you eat has a residue that's left behind everything nothing completely evaporates into thin air that is not true right everything has a residue in the body and everything that we eat leaves behind either a residue that can be measured as acidic right a low ph number or alkaline a higher ph number so you might think well wow, Burns is crazy. She's mistaken. She, that's not true. You eat, you eat cookies. That's not acid. That's sweet. What are you talking about? Yeah, it leaves behind carbonic acid and carbon dioxide in your body, two acid forming, acid uh, residues, right? Same thing with protein. Same thing with protein. We're eating a bunch of non-bioavailable stuff that our body now has to break down in a big way, big chemical processes needed to break down foreign chemistry in the body, foreign proteins. <sighs> <sighs> oh yes, Olga has a great question. I was wondering if we squeeze the lemon juice in water, if the water becomes structured, is the lemonade structured uh, as other fruit juices? Yes, lemonade is extremely structured. You would put about half a cup of pure, freshly pressed lemon juice into about three cups of, uh, of distilled water, and you can add some either maple syrup uh, or some honey or some agave. Uh, you can even add a pinch of cayenne pepper, and that is your, uh, your lemonade for detox, and that is extremely structured. Lemons are 
extremely astringent, extremely electric between lemon, lemonade, and grape juice. So, and all of the fruits, mounds, and berries. I also get this question asked, I don't know where I was on the last train of thought. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just downloading stuff for you guys. The other question I get asked a lot is what fruits should I eat? I have such and such condition, fill in the blank. What fruit is good for that? What food, what juice, what should I eat for my detox? What's good for that? Same answer. Fruits, melons, and berries, baby. <laughs> if you have something that is really life-threatening right now, and you need to get this done immediately, grapes, grapes or lemonade, or a combination of the two. I was wondering, parasites love sugar. Are we feeding parasites with juice from fruits? Great question. The fruit that is in the fructose, the simple, simple bioavailable fructose that is contained within fruits. And right now I'm drinking a combination of pineapple and clementine is legitimately the anti yeast, anti candida, anti microbial food. What we do when we eat sugar that feeds parasites and not so much parasites, but the yeast, the candida, parasites are not really fed by, by sugar. Parasites are fed by dead decaying meat, carcasses of animals. But when we have a lot of fruits, melons and berries, these are astringent. They pull, they astringe the, uh, the candida and the yeast and the fungus and the microbes out of the cells in order for it to be flushed out. This, this starves, this starves your candida. This starves, it doesn't feed it. No, you know what they feed on? Do you know why we have uh, parasites and why we have candida and why we have microbial fungus in our body? To eat up and feed on the lymphatic waste that is not being flushed out in the toilet via the, the kidneys and via the bowels it's feeding on all of that acid waste to protect us. It's trying to protect us. And the acid waste is put there by the complex carbohydrates, the sugar, the wheat, all the, all the grains. That is why we have these, um, I'm gonna stop bouncing now. That is why we have all of these things in our body. So if we cut off their food supply of complex sugars, it kills them. That's why sometimes when you go on this kind of program and you're, you're detoxing the body and you're getting yourself cleaned out again, that's why sometimes you have these uptakes, upkicks in your cravings for carbohydrates because your, your candida is going, oh, hell no. She's trying to starve me out. Fuck that. Give me some candy. Give me some cookies. Give me some bread. Give me some pasta. Give me some fill in the blank, right? Give me some complex carbohydrates so that we can keep going. If your candida doesn't want to be starved out, right? By having fruits, melons, and berries, however, this is the most alkalizing, the most detoxifying, the most astringent, the most electric, eight to 10,000 angstroms of energy in, in raw fruits, melons, and berries. It's the most electric, energetic food on the planet. Requires no digestion, especially when you have it in the form of juice where there is no fiber that your body has to handle to, to digest this energy and this food, this fuel is absorbed by diffusion. Uh, the minute it hits your mouth, it starts the, the process of getting into your cellular, your body on a cellular level. It's instant dynamic cellular energy. It's not artificial. It is not stimulant based. It is not it is not acid forming. It is all alkalizing in the body. Even fruits that are acid and sub acid fruits in terms of their, 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 um, you know, their, their constituents when it goes in, it's the, what is left behind once it is metabolized in the body. It's an alkaline residue. It's not going to add to your acid in the body and every disease, every single, oh, I got a good glow going on. You see that? That's why I love doing the rebounding because it gets the cardiovascular system flowing. We have three energy flows in the body, you guys, our blood flow, our lymph flow, and our nerve flow. If you can take care every day, a little bit at a time, look, I've only been lightly jumping for 20 minutes, right? 
if you can take care of those three energy flows, preferably in the morning when you wake up, man, you're going to have an amazing opportunity for an amazing day. Amazing day. Good morning, Mandy. I love you, babe. How are you doing? You're so welcome, Catalina. Thank you so much for your amazing question. Um, I have a great uh, uh, class, which I will link in the description of this video, called uh, Sugar and Carbohydrates, the truth uh, behind sugar and carbohydrates. And I'm going to link that in the description of this video. So if you're watching it on Facebook, it will be in the top in the uh, description on above. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it will be in the description below. It's a great class where I broke down for everybody with, uh, with notes that popped up just like this here. Let me, well, let me show you. Let me just show you. Uh, so in our classes, and I'm going to be, I'm going to start going back to these classes, but these are the, these are the, 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 uh, the show notes I wanted to say. These are the class notes that pop up and we go through all of these uh, amazing notes as we talk about, um, you know, as we talk about uh, different topics that are related to this detox, because the most important thing that we can do is to become truly informed and understand how the body is working so that we can utilize everything at our disposal, at our fingertips to, to heal the body, right? Your, your healing is not going to come at the hand of a doctor. I'm sorry, it is not. And I don't, I don't need, I, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. If you have a condition, if you have a condition like Lyme, okay, like Mandy says, struggling city, this Lyme com coming up is kicking my butt, can barely move, definitely being prepared for my next level. That's exactly right, Mandy. That's exactly right, because you've been in class, you've been learning, you've been growing, you've been doing the work, you're on day, what what day are you on now? Like day 31 or 30 or something, you know? Uh, congratulations, everyone, on your day 40. Yes, congratulations to you, where you're where you're amazing, you're blowing it away. And what Mandy knows, what Mandy knows, day 34 for Mandy, can we give a round of applause for Mandy? Round of applause for everybody who is doing this. I know a lot of you are watching. You, you, you prefer to kind of watch and sit back and not really comment. And a lot of you might be watching this on the replay. I want to congratulate you because I know how much effort this takes to do this. I know how uncomfortable these detox symptoms can feel sometimes. But Mandy, I want you to let the, let the class know. You might This might be kicking your ass right now, right? But you've had a lot of days where you had good energy, right? You had a lot of days where you were like, okay, I, I'm doing this. It's not kicking my butt too much, right? Uh, what's important to know that is that w when we go through detox, the body is going to feel it. Our bodies are going to feel a condition when we create it in the body and when it's on its way out. When it's on its way out, these detox symptoms can feel scary. And I'm going to prepare a class. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in today's class. I'm going to kind of... Uh, I want to really plan it out on a day where I have a, the, the most number of class members who can attend live. And I also want to make a, 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 an announcement about it on the, uh, the Real Juicy Detox group, which you guys can come in and join completely for free. Amazing community. Um, I want to kind of make an announcement so that people can really try to get be there live because I want to talk about detox symptoms and I want to do I've done it before several times and almost every time I do a detox class like this or at noon eastern standard time or at 8 p.m eastern standard time I go live three times a day internet service connection uh 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 willing you know um I've talked about this at length before the whole idea around and the whole reality of detox symptoms when we understand that the body is going to experience the intensity of the detox at times not all the time at times then we can kind of settle down the monkey mind you know that monkey brain that says oh my god you're dying oh my god this is too hard oh my god your condition is coming back oh my god this is going to be just like last time we need to settle that part of the brain down 
We need to settle that part of the brain down and remind ourselves that everything that we are experiencing in the body as the detox continues and as these old conditions are cleared out of the body and healed from the body, it's not like we are suppressing the symptoms. You go to the doctor, doctor, make this go away. I'm in pain. I don't like it. Here's some pain medication. Here's some antibiotics. Here's some prednisone. Here's some steroids. Here's some cortisol, right? Instead of doing that and suppressing the symptoms that we are experiencing in the body, the symptoms of what? Not the symptoms of your diagnosis. That is just a label that the doctors put on you because they feel like they have to in order to prescribe you medication. Understand what's going on. What's going on is that is a symptom, not of your diagnosis. That is a symptom of what caused, what caused everything, what caused the corrosion in the body, what caused the agglomeration or the sticking together, what caused the, 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 the fat pockets to show up in different parts of your body to hold on to the toxins that you're not eliminating through your kidneys. What is it? Acidosis. These are symptoms of acidosis. So once you address the acidosis and the toxicity, then you can start the body healing. It's also a cause of, it's, part, it's partly because we came with really crappy raw materials from our parents who got their crappy raw materials, right? Look at your, your health history and your family. A lot of times you can see it. Everybody on that side of the family has cancer. Everybody on this side of the family has heart disease. Everybody on, you know what I mean? It's because we're passing down and passing down our genetic code, our genetic raw materials to our children and over time, that is each generation becoming more and more degraded, right? So when we have this detox that happens in the body that we are doing with fruits, melons, and berries because it is the most alkalizing, the most highly energetic, the most uh, uh, detoxifying in general, the most astringent, the most nutrient dense, the most electric, right in the name, electrolytes. When we do this with fruits, melons, and berries, that allows the toxicity and the acidosis to be cleared out of the body. And then that, with that comes a regeneration of the tissues, organs, and glands, especially, especially if you are using herbal support to help you on your journey, right? Bandy says, oh yeah, the, these last two days are the only days out of 34 that have not felt amazing. How incredible is that? And now, now your, your kidneys are filtering like you're filtering like a boss, Mandy. Now all of your lymphatic system, which has been interstitially constipated, every cell in your body has been constipated because your lymphatic system has not been filtering to the outside world, which means that all of the, your lymphatic system makes up 80% of the fluid in your body, 80% of the liquid around, the fluid around every single cell in your body is the lymphatic system. It's your toilet. It's where all of the cells push out their metabolic waste on a cellular level, folks. Hundreds of trillions of cells on a cellular level are trying to poop out their daily, minute by minute, second by second, uh, uh, waste matter that happens naturally when energy cycles are created in the body in addition to all of the other crap that shouldn't even be in our body that our body can't even metabolize and digest properly. Now your kidneys are open, right? So all of this lymphatic system that is all running, all surrounding every single cell in the body, just like the blood system makes up 20% of the game, your lymphatic system, which makes up 80% of the game, can now properly be flushed out of the body because your kidneys are open. What does that mean? That means that all of this interstitial spaces are starting to wake up and are starting to push out their toxins, getting it out of the body via the kidneys. It's gonna kick up pain. It's gonna kick up inflammation. It's going to kick up those old symptoms that you have suppressed with the use of all of the drugs, all of the medication, all of it. You're going to feel it. But here's the good news. Those detox symptoms do not last very long. They don't last very long for most people. I know some people are more interstitially uh, impacted and, and you know, it's going to, it's going to take, it's going to feel intense. 
I know a lot of you are also working on adrenal glands that have been completely shut down. You guys need to watch uh, Del Bigtree on his latest video to have an understanding of what possibly some of the stuff that we have done uh, to ourselves and how how we have impacted ourselves with uh, with the stuff that we have put in our body. You know, I highly recommend that you watch that. We've been watching that. I'm, I'm going to watch it again today. I've watched it twice already his show from Thanksgiving today, and you won't find it on social media anymore because they've deplatformed him. Why? Why are they deplatforming people? It's not to protect us from anything. It's to protect us from the truth, right? Um, if you go to, uh, you know what? I'm going to pull it up on my, on my, um, come here with me. Come here. I'm going to pull it up on my, uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say the name out loud, you know, because, you know, you know, I don't want to get I don't want to get banned from uh, from from any platforms because then I won't be able to be here with you guys. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let me just pull it up. I'm gonna flip my camera around. I want you guys to screenshot this. Hang on one second. Hang on. All right. I'm just gonna show it to you. I want you to screenshot this. Everybody needs to watch this. Everybody on this freaking planet right now needs to watch this. I don't care if you think it's a whatever theory, all right? But you need to go here. Uh, is this supposed to be funny? No, it's not. I'm dead fucking serious. I'm dead fucking serious, King Toot. Are you are you trying to be funny? I I couldn't be more serious than I am right now. I could not be more serious. I don't care what you think about this topic, right? If you're living on this planet right now and you don't watch this, then good luck. You deserve what's coming. Olga says, I watched it two hours with my mouth open. Wow. Yeah. I don't care what you think about this topic. If you don't watch this out of fear, out of thinking that, that this is a joke, is what's supposed to be funny? I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to ask you is what's supposed to be funny? Come on. Where are you? You, you gone away? You run away now? If you're still here, I want, would like to, you to, I'd like you to clarify what exactly you think I'm, I'm joking about, my friend. I'm as serious as a motherfucking hole in the head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm as serious as a fucking heart attack right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need to wake up and we need to look at what these doctors are, are, are supposedly doing in our best interest. Are you still here, King Toot? Or are you just full of toots? Are you full of toots? Come on. Ask me your question is what's supposed to be funny? I'm dead serious. Let's go. I'll give you a minute. I know there's a little bit of a delay. So Mandy, back to you, my love. Um, you're doing it. You are doing it. And I'm so proud of you because I know how incredibly challenging and difficult transforming yourself is when you are afraid of this Lyme disease coming back to bite you in the ass, when you are in pain, the vertigo, the, the everything, the rashes that some of you are experiencing, the hot, the heat. Cindy, that article that Vicky sent us, I'm going to post that in the, um, the Real Juicy Detox. It's an article on uh, a very rare condition that our girl here, Cindy, is experiencing. And it is very, very, very powerful. Uh, all about the ability of ourselves to heal these rare conditions that the doctors say, uh, we don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I guess King Toot just tooted on out of the building, eh? That's really good. That's really good. Uh, I was, I was, yeah. I'm not going to block you, King Toot. Not yet. But you come on here and you try to you know, stir up some shit up in here. You don't know who you're dealing with, my friend. You don't know who you're dealing with and you don't understand the army that's behind me with all of this. So, you know, I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying, our, we've got to take our health back. We have to stop listening to these doctors that are willy-nilly willing to cut us open and willing to give us all of this chemical crap to treat symptoms. You cannot treat the symptom and expect that you're going to deal with the cause and get rid of the condition at its cause. That's the only way that you can cure anything. And we don't even talk about curing because curing in itself it, it implies disease. There is no disease. These labels of disease are things that we are experiencing in our body because of the acid we've put in it, because of the crap injections that we've put in it. I've had my vaccines, you know, where is my little dot? I've had, I've had the dot. A lot of us of my generation, I'm 55 years old. You know, a lot of us have the, the vaccine dot on our arm, right? But when we got our vaccines, when we got all that put into us, it's nothing like what's going on now. Y'all need to watch that, what I just showed on my screen. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Take it serious as all get out. This is, uh, the, the, we have the power to turn this around. We have the power to turn this around, we do. It's going to be a bumpy ride for some of us, though. It's going to be a bumpy ride because, wow, we have come with compromised raw materials in the form of our physical structure from our parents. And, uh, you know, and it's not just the physical detox, right, Cindy? You got to do the mental, the spiritual, the emotional work behind this, too. We got to get out of the monkey mind. We got to settle it, settle it down. And for some of us, it means going really hard, going really hard on on the the extra stuff that we need to do so you know i'm so grateful that that i get to wake up and share this with you guys i'm so grateful that i get to wake up every single day and be like wow i'm waking up i'm not in any pain no most days <laughs> some days i do have a detox headache and those are intense and i gotta push through i still have my own lymphatic stagnation in my head going on Right. I still have the ringing in my ears, the tinnitus. I still get the headaches. Um, you know, I still have the thyroid issues, which is all about lymphatic congestion up in this region right up in here. I'm still working on my stuff. Right. Uh, people ask me all the time. Hey, what's up with your cancer? Is your tumor gone? I don't fucking know because I'm not going back in for one of their acid experiences and and radiation experiences called a CT scan to check doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm doing everything in my power to address the cause, something that the doctors have never, ever, ever been able to help me with. Never. We don't know what causes this burns, but come here, we'll cut you open and here, take this chemotherapy medication. Not having any more of it, not having any more of it, not having it. I'm not having it. I've woken up to the fact that the only person that has control over my healing, the only person that can facilitate my body's healing process is me because I'm the only one in charge of what goes in my mouth. I'm the only one in control of what goes in my mouth. And I take full responsibility for where my body is, where my body has been, and where my body is going. I love where I, where I am. I love where I've been. And I love where I'm going. It's not always been an easy road. I've messed it up a lot, but now I can see it all with clarity, the clarity of hindsight and the clarity of foresight. Fruits, melons, and berries, baby. Fruits, melons, and berries. So if this is your first time here, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to check out the, um, the playlist that I'm going to link on the end screen right about here. And make sure that you see the uh, the other playlist on my Facebook, on my YouTube profile. And uh, I will see you guys all at noon today. Same bad time, same bad channel. Let's do it.